Hey everyone, this is John, and let's take a look at the free video uh, tonight. I'm really just sitting here looking at this weekly chart of the S&Ps. You can see there's a lot of, uh, there's really nothing in the market right now that actually looks bullish, but if you look at this weekly chart, you've got a nice wedge setting up here, right? You've got a uh, squeeze setting up to go long, you got the B and the C above zero, you got the A, you know, kind of sloppy here. It's and, and here's the big thing. With all the bad news that's hitting the market, we still haven't been able to take out these lows. So at this point, I mean, I think the market is really good about pricing in bad news. And even though I'm looking at this going, wow, it's going to get killed, I just can't discount what I'm seeing. So I, again, I just I look at this and I just can't make any big bets to the short side, although I'm not excited about the long side. Uh, but I think here in this area, it's worth a shot on the long side, tight stop, see if we can at least get the top of this uh, wedge again, and then who knows, this weekly might even fire off long. So it's a very interesting time here to be sure. Okay, and just kind of an update too, just on uh, the uh, doc system here, and a couple of questions I had from people on this, but also just kind of wanted to show you something that was kind of interesting. So today the system did did pretty good. There was one here where it got stopped out right here, where the system went short, bought this, and then here it went short, and then you can see, um, and I remember watching this, and we're talking about, you know, in terms of like the CTA doing some discretion on some of this stuff. And this is what uh, we were talking about. So this happened at, I've got to get all this lined up here. So 13, 1, okay. So let's back this up a little bit here, right there. So I saw, so this is kind of an interesting one, and, and Doc and I have been kind of watching this. So. We're sitting right here, and then the ticks, the ticks made new highs almost um, immediately. So you can see here that the you know the moving average was turning up and stuff like this. And so when this thing went short, um, just looking at this, going, no, this is not, you know, it's you got to wait, you got to wait for you know a couple different things, at least wait for the ticks to roll back over, um, and then when it turned over and went long, you know, this just this right here with the chop, it was just one of those that using discretion would have been able to over or, you know override it. Um, oh, where's the other one there? But then, on the other hand, it's also not discounting the system because then the system then actually went short here. And when it went short here at, let's see, around 130, right around there, then yeah, okay, that made sense. The ticks weren't, you know, exploding higher or anything like that. And then, bam, it ended up catching almost the full move down, which was really, really good. So it was a good mix today of kind of, doing uh, the runs here with the system and and uh, adding some kind of discretion with the ticks and everything like that. So there was a couple of updates on this. And so a lot of a couple of people were asking like, well, hey, I was in that 10K program. Is this the 10K program being restarted? And the answer to that is, is no, it's not. So we actually are, uh, there is going to be a, a 10, the 10K program kind of restarted again. And the reason is just, it's just getting, we've submitted like all the plans to the regulators and they just take longer to approve certain ones and for whatever reasons uh, the 25k one was approved uh, first and so that's the one we're going to start with so you do have a choice if you were in the 10k one and you actually were like all right i want to you know start it again uh, with some discretion that's great if you have questions on that you know in terms of uh, just because if it's a situation you know obviously you can let us know um, otherwise Otherwise, what we have going on right now is this program. So this is, again, this is the one that got approved first. Um, it looks like it would probably still be about eight weeks before just the pure 10K uh, LED could go again. Uh, but again, the first one that's kind of going off here is it's a minimum of 25K only because we're going to be running more trades uh, within it with more possibilities. Uh, this is obviously a big focus of it with a little bit of discretionary involved. And then there's the opportunity to say, okay, you know, end of day play or end of day play kind of a tick fee tick uh, uh, tick fade different things like that and just kind of the idea of just being able to kind of as looking and you know just bring in a discretionary eye into what's going on in the markets but using this as kind of a backdrop so some you know some questions on that uh, but uh, so this is a 25k and then the idea is it's increments of 25k so you can do 25 you know 50 75 100 and so on and then we'll just kind of tap it out because obviously you cannot do this with 
um, you know, thousands and thousands of contracts. And so you got to kind of cap it out. So that's why we're doing it as a kind of a first come first served. And then um, the 10K one, we're, that'd probably be about, it looks like about eight weeks or so before that, just pure, um, pure, just follow the system, no discretion uh, would be going there. So anyway, if you guys have any questions on that, obviously you can email me here, john at tradethemarkets.com. Um, if you do want a disclosure document on the 25K program and you want to get in line for that, you can also email me and we'll send that to you. Okay, hopefully it helps with all the questions. And if you guys have any questions on that, let us know.